This is Pastor Andrew from Somali Christian Ministries. And yes, there are Somali Christians in the world. And one thing that Somali Christians do not believe in is female genital mutilation. The circumcision of young girls. This is something we cannot imagine happens as someone who lives in the West. When we hear about this disgusting practice, we just can't believe that people can be so cruel and so evil to their own children. How can a father or a mother allow their child to go through this evil, vicious, bloody operation just in the name of doing something good they are destroying the blessings that God has poured out upon all people to enjoy life to enjoy their bodies And there are people in Somalia who perform female genital mutilation. In fact, Somalia is the country that has the highest rates of this practice, FGM, in the world. Well, I am here to say it has to stop. And it has to stop right now. It is a sick procedure. It is a violation of a woman's body. It is a violation of a child's rights. It is an evil practice. It is a dark procedure. Demonic, satanic, evil. And if you do it or participate in it, your heart is with the devil and you will end up in a place of hell after you die. God will judge you for harming these children. Why do people do it? They say they do it so that they can keep their women pure So that they do not commit adultery. So if they don't feel the pleasures of sex, then they will not commit adultery. How sick is this? How twisted, how perverted and evil. A person only needs God to remain pure and holy. God is the one who can keep us pure and holy and walking on His path. Jesus said, If you cause one of these little ones who trusts in me to fall into sin, it would be better for you to have a large stone tied around your neck and drowned in the depths of the sea. Jesus is saying, if you are performing female genital mutilation on a child, if you're participating in it, if you support it, it would be better for you if somebody ties a big stone around your neck and throws you into the ocean. Because Jesus is saying, if God gets a hold of you, you're in even bigger trouble. And you will be on the day of judgment when you go and stand before God and have to explain yourself. Why did you perform these operations? For money? Why did you allow your child to be cut up and mutilated and butchered for your religion? For some kind of 
cultural idea because you were afraid to stand up against the clan? Jesus said, if you are a coward, if you are afraid, you're not going to come into heaven. God is not going to accept you into heaven if you are a chicken. If you are afraid to stand up for what is right. What can you do as a Somali to stop this practice? First, you can speak up and fight for any girl in your clan and speak up and say, no, we do not allow her to have female genital mutilation. We do not allow you to give her the circumcision. No, you cannot do it. Speak up as a person who loves God and loves what is right. You have to stand up and speak up for what is right. Speak up and say no to those who want to do it. Then get your friends and sisters and cousins and brothers to stand up with you against this evil practice. Start saying no. No, you cannot do that. No, you will not help that person. No, my daughter is not let. Do not come into my house or I will call the police. And then call the police and tell them who is performing these operations so that the police will go to their houses and tell them to stop. Go to your clan elders and speak to them and tell them this has to stop. We cannot do this to our daughters. It is forbidden by Allah. God says, no, do not perform this operation. It is not from me. It is from shaitan. It is from the evil one. It is from the devil. It is from the demons. It is from the dark side of the world. People who do this, who support it, who practice it, who make money off of it, are sick. They're sick in their minds and sick in their hearts. They are twisted and deceived and run by the devil. Go to the mosque leaders and tell them to preach from the front of the mosque to tell all their people, Allah forbids female genital mutilation. We want you to stop. Go to your mosque leader. Tell him to speak out to the whole people and tell them, stop this. You cannot continue doing this. Write about it in your newspapers. Write about it in your poetry books. Write about it in your songs. Do the famous Somali musicians speak out against it? They should. The most famous musicians and actors and models. Get them to speak out against this evil practice. And ask and pray to God. Ask Him to give you the strength to stop this evil practice. Ask God to deliver the people from this evil practice. If we don't do it, nobody will. 
We cannot wait and expect somebody else to do it. We have to do it. Speak out against this practice for your sons and your daughters. Teach them the way of peace and the way of love and leave your body the way God created it to be. God created the female body. Do not carve it up into your own image. It's idolatry. It's a sin. Leave your body the way God created it. Teach your children that it is wrong. Tell them there are people in our society who believe in this evil practice and tell them it is an evil practice. We do not believe in it. We don't want you to do it. We will protect you. Tell us if your friends are getting it. Tell us who's doing it so that we can stop them and tell them, leave our city. Get out of here. We don't want you here. Leave. Ban them. In the name of Jesus, for the love of God, let it happen. Ask God to do a miracle in your country to stop this evil practice. It says in the Bible, No, not at all. I am saying that these sacrifices are offered to demons, to the jinn, not to God. And I don't want you to participate with demons. You believe there are good angels and bad angels recording the works that you do. This is an evil work, a very, very evil, dark, demonic work. And if you believe in God, you will not do this to anyone. You will not want anyone to have it. I want you to commit your hearts to speaking out against female genital mutilation, Somali female circumcision has to stop. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, by your power, bring a stop to this evil practice in this country of Somalia. Of all the things you could do to a young child, this is one of the worst. Stop the violence against children. Stop taking the taking away of their human rights in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we praise you, we bless you, we glorify you, we thank you that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. If you're feeling convicted because you've done something wrong, if you have allowed this to happen to your child, you have sinned against God. You have sinned against your child and you have sinned against the Creator. And you need to ask God to forgive you for what you have done. You need to ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart and forgive you of the sin that you have committed. And do what you can to speak out against it, to help those who have been affected by it, the medical problems that they have because of the operation. Volunteer and help them and do something good for God. In Jesus' name, amen.